be on their game. Including some good-natured smack talk. Haley, how do you feel about taking on your arch-rival Oklahoma tonight? Who? Oh. You know, you look at burnt orange and crimson, I think you can decide which one's prettier. You can tell all these kids they want to win every game, but when they don't, they're walking away with uh, a lot of money toward yeah. their education, and that still means something, so everybody's a winner here. 16 universities will battle for shares of a million dollars in scholarship money. Bodleian was established in 1602 as what university's library? Notre Dame Noah. Oxford. Nice work, Noah. And the questions they get, I mean, I'm, I'm asking questions and they're answering them before I even finish it. Putting a new spin on the old college trough. Mark Bark, NBC News. This is NBC4 News at 5. Now at 5, talk about weather whiplash. We've seen days of flex alerts and extreme heat. Now from the coast to the valley to the mountains, people are preparing for the possibility of flooding. And despite all the rain out there today, the heat and the flex alerts, they haven't gone away. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. I'm just letting that sink in for a minute. <laughs> Let it marinate for a there. second. Hey, everybody. I'm Michael Brownlee. Chuck is off here tonight. We have a wild day and weekend in store for you. Let's get up to News Chapter 4 over South Gates. No rain yet on the lens, but you see all the dark clouds hovering there. Again, we are expecting rain to hit this part of Southern California sometime soon. But we do have yeah. live team coverage right now of this system and all its impacts out there. NBC 4's Vicki Vargas is going to show us some of the coastal areas and how they're getting ready. That's right. Our Tony Shin is up near Hammett where people who were just evacuated for a wildfire may have more devastation headed their way. But first, let's get to meteorologist David Baker who's tracking the system. David, how's it looking out there? And we are starting to see more rain showers out there, Michael. We were starting to see a couple of drops pop up on the lens of News Chopper 4. I wanted to back out this view here, so we're backing up here all the way to the first our radar network for a second because you can see we've got these darker green colors started to work through the area as well as these pockets of yellow. Now earlier today we had some offshore winds that really dried out the lower atmosphere. So we need to get some rainfall falling into that before we actually get the rain reaching the surface and we're starting to see that in a few spots. Here's what it's looked like over the past hour or so. You see how this is working up out of the southeast a little bit different direction than what we're used to seeing across the region. And of course this is all associated with the storm that is well to our southwest. So here's K. It's rotating away from the coastline at this point, but it's continuing to stream moisture through the area as we go through the next couple of hours. Now let me show you some of the rain estimates. Here's LAX, by the way, where they just started reporting some light rainfall. We're looking at about a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain at the top end and the lower elevations. Some spots may pick up very little rainfall. For the mountain spots, we're looking at about three quarters of an inch to two inches of rain or more, and a few spots could pick up some higher totals, especially outdoor portions of the low desert. We are also still concerned about flash flooding in some parts of our area. You see this red shaded coloring right here over portions of the low desert into the Riverside County Mountains. That's a moderate risk of some flash flooding concerns for today. The rest of the region, though, it's not a 0% chance, so we will be monitoring this as we go through the next couple of hours. But right now, I'll send it back over to you guys. All right, David, thank you. As we mentioned, it is all hands on deck in Long Beach, where homeowners there are getting ready for more flooding. This is uh, what's left from the high tide that happened there last night. Officials say the incoming tropical storm is expected to bring a dangerous mix of elements out there. NBC 4 is Vicki Vargas live where the preparations are happening on the sand. Vicki. Yeah, and Colleen, we have been told that crews here have been working around the clock. They expect that pace to continue for quite some time. Some of what they're dealing with, rather, is the fact that there was erosion of this berm that happened because of last night's high tides. Think of this as a war against the weather. Hurricane K, only one of the elements threatening these peninsula homes. There is also the possibility of rain and high tides. This sand berm has been under construction for a week. We had a significant amount of erosion last night from the actual tide and the storm surge, and now they've been rebuilding it up as well. Long Beach lifeguards are digging in too, filling sandbags for those who worry the next high tide could bring flooding and property damage. It's our garage, so it really won't damage much, just the washer and dryers in there and maybe some other things you could pick up off the ground, but I, I just rather not have it happen. Scott showed us how the water went around his home last night, bypassing the berm, moving down an alley towards his garage. Tonight, he'll be ready for any overflowing ocean water. Just across the San Gabriel River, more evidence of nature's unexpected generosity. This parking lot still filled with pockets of water that have yet to recede. 
A restaurant under construction saved by piles of sandbags. I've never seen the tide this high, this high to where it flooded the parking lot before. So it's a, uh, this is something different. It was, it was weird. Seal Beach plans to add lifeguards and police officers to watch for wild weather this weekend. Pumps are in place at the water's edge where another sand berm is protecting this south-facing beach. We are seeing the preparations going on and, and listening to the news. We are flying out tomorrow and, and hope that everything will, will go well. The sand along the boardwalk still showing signs of overnight flooding. The new shoreline is where they built the sand up, but uh, it was up about 50, 60 yards from uh, normal. It's kind of wild, about 9 o'clock last night. Most telling, perhaps, is seeing this mail carrier, not in summer sandals, but wearing winter rain boots. This is one of two locations on the peninsula where you can pick up those sandbags. We're at the end of 72nd place, the other about a mile north of where we're